Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate half-life if the rate constant value for the reaction is known. The problem says that calculate half-life for a first order reaction, reaction is a first order from the rate constant values, here you can see that rate constant values are given and from these values we have to find out, find out half-life means t half this is the symbol of half life and the reaction is of first orders for different order of reaction there is a different relation between half life and so rate constant k value if you look at this table you can see that this is a zero order reaction and for this zero order reaction this is the relation between half life and so rate constant value uh, rate constant and this is the first order reaction and for this first order reaction this is the relation between rate constant and half life and this is the second orders since uh, the problem in the problem we have the first order of reaction then we are going to apply this formula this is the relation between half life and rate constant for the first order of reaction that is t half is equal to ln2 that is natural log upon k let's apply this formula here we have let me write down this t half that is half life is equal to ln 2 upon k ln 2 is equal to here we have 0 0.693 and upon k is rate constant we can use this relation and we can calculate half life from this uh, given values of rate constant let me take the first part here we have t half that is half life is equal to at the top we have 0 0.693 and k value is 200 per second 200 per second we can divide these numbers at the top we have 0 0.693 and it is divided by 200 and the value which we get and we can write this value in scientific notation the value which we get that is 3.465 here we have 3.465 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and it is per second it goes up we get t half uh, half life in seconds 3.465 multiplied by 10 to powers 3 seconds and similarly we can do the second part also in the second part rate constant value uh, is given 2 per minute here we have t half is equal to at the top we have 0 0.693 and at the bottom rate constant is 2 per minute and we can divide the values here we have c 0 0.693 and it is divided by 2 the value which we get that is 0 0.3465 here we have 0 0.34 Six five. Let me confirm the value again. Zero point three four six five, and it is minute. It is per minute. Rate constant is given in per minute. Then the value which we get in minute. Now uh, we move on to the third part. In the third part, here you can see that it is given four per years. We apply the same formula. T half is equal to zero point six nine three, and so here we have uh, four per years. It is per years we can divide the values here we have 0 0.693 and it is divided by 4 4 and the value which we get that is 0 0.1732 and so it can be written as 0 0.1733 here we have 0 0.1733 and it is years this is this this is the half life you can see that how i calculated half life from the given value of rate constant uh, for the first order of reaction you need to know the order of reaction then you can apply the formula um, of uh, half-life because the formula of half-life relation between half-life and rate constant differs for the different order of reaction you can use this table for the difference thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.